Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today we're going to install some I-beam sliding door track and trolley system. Now because my garage doors are very big, they're 12 foot by 12 foot and I have four of them and my original idea was to do roll-up doors but the, because of the economy and everything they became um, they went from uh, cost of about $25,000 to $65,000 so I decided that I was going to make my own garage doors and what I needed was a track and trolley system that really could handle the you know the weight and um, I wanted something that wasn't gonna you know it wasn't gonna rust it was gonna last a long time so I chose I-beam sliding door solutions and there's their logo right there now what I'm gonna use is this track and trolley it's basically an aluminum track and it has a heavy duty trolley system that goes inside of it and basically I'll have two two trolleys for each door two of the doors are going to slide on the outside of the garage and then two of the doors will slide on the inside of the garage now what I've done is I've put I have basically this is an inch and three quarter LVL that you see right here and I pre-drilled it I recessed um, the holes for hex lags these are some five and a half inch hex lags and this is an inch and three quarter by six LVL and there's 60 feet on the ins on the on the outside and 60 feet on the inside of this LVL and that'll allow me to mount this face mount um, track system that you see right here uh, onto this and what I've done is I've used a laser to install this LVL on the outside and on the inside and um, what that now the bummer is I, I've got to go up and down a ladder to put all these lags in and that took a little while for me to get this done just because it was constantly up and down the ladder but it, it, it was it was fine it did work out and um, right here I'm putting the last of the hex lags in on the LVL on the outside and I've already put the LVL on the inside so this is the I'll get this this one done and then I'll be able to start running the the aluminum track now you can see in this picture of the hardware of the track and trolley it's pretty heavy duty um, you know a normal barn door just has a couple aluminum wheels on a little trolley but this is sealed bearings um, a pretty heavy duty it's the it's the nicest one that I was able to find when I was doing my research so hopefully it turns out um, so this video is just going to be all about this track and trolley now one thing I realized about these hex lags, you got to be careful not to over tighten them. Even though I pre-drilled all the holes, if you tighten it too much, you'll snap them off. And I did snap two of them off on the outside of this wall. Now right here, I'm finishing up these last couple hex lags right there. And right here you can see I'm flying the drone across here. And you can see I got two hex lags every 16 inches. So this will be a heavy duty piece that the, the track will be able to mount onto. Now the track comes with um, pre-drilled holes, um, which was surprising. They were actually 19 inches apart, but they, they must know what they're doing. So um, yeah, anyway, right here I figure out, because I'm working by myself off a ladder, what I'll do is I'll mount a board and the tracks are, each track is 12 feet long. So what I do is I mount a couple boards up under this and this is already, this, the, what I'm mounting that to is already level. So I think I checked it a couple times but it, I used a laser when I put that up there. So right here, now these things are pretty heavy so basically what I do is I put one end up on the block and then um, make sure it's even and level at the end and then start mounting it and I've got to pre-drill all these holes too this um, yeah these hex lags you have to pre-drill for these because they're I think they're 5 16 hex lags and um, yeah so I pre-drill every hole and then I basically mount one at a time yeah I figured out that I, I went up and down the ladder I don't know, like 88 times. 
to get to get this uh, track and trolley up there. Yeah, I ended up uh, my 25 year old Milwaukee cordless drill burnt out during this project. So I ended up having to resort to uh, a Milwaukee impact to put the lags in, and then I ended up using a Milwaukee cord corded drill to uh, pre-drill the holes. Actually, afterwards, I, I ended up using the impact to drill the holes also. And you learn real fast not to over-tighten them because, like I said, I did break a couple hex lags putting up the LVL. But this track and trolley system seems like a good choice if you're, if you're going to do barn doors. Um, this is a heavy-duty system, and it seems to be, um, I'm hopeful that it'll, I'll get a lot of long life out of this track. It's made out of thick aluminum, and it's pretty heavy. Here's another view from my GoPro. And you can see right here I'm putting on the second piece on the outside. Now one thing I one thing I need to tell you is it's very important to use the lineup tool. So what I do is I put that piece up there, then you have an alignment tool, and you basically you go into the middle of the two pieces and clamp them together so that that track is perfectly even before you start um, installing all your hex lags. Now right here you can see I'm attaching the alignment tool into that first piece. And this is basically joining the two pieces together to make sure that when you, um, when you finish mounting those two pieces, that the center of that, your um, trolley is gonna roll, in that, roll on it really nice. And that's probably, that's a pretty important part of this whole thing. You don't want it to be, you don't want it to be hitting um, if they're not perfectly aligned. It was a pretty easy job. It's just up and down the ladder, up and down the ladder. I'm definitely going to have to get some kind of scissor lift for outside when I do the siding. And I just moved down the line. Right here you can see I'm, I'm just progressing. I'm on my third piece and I just keep repeating the process making sure to line them up and use the alignment tool to clamp clamp in between and yeah just repeat the process right here I'm on, I'm cutting the last piece for the outside of the building and I have to do a custom cut so I'm using my evolution chop saw and it does a nice job of cutting this aluminum um, I do after I cut it I do use a um, a grinder to deburr it a little bit I don't want the track. I don't want the trolley to have any interference. So I did do a little deburring on this piece using a Makita grinder with a sandpaper disc. And right here, I'm putting on the last piece on the outside. Right here is a look at the inside. Basically, I've got the outside done, and you can see each each hole is a uh, on this face mounted tra track. They're about 19 inches apart. So, I don't know, I think there was 44, 44 holes to pre-drill and mount this track. And inside I'm using my, um, my scaffolding on wheels to just move myself along. And yeah, kind of the same routine on the inside. Here's a close-up look of the actual trolley. Now right there you can see it, it's got, see, it's got four, four sealed bearings and then also an outer an outer um, guide and there's going to be two of these they're pretty heavy duty looking there's going to be two of those on each door and they really they rolled pretty nice anyway thank you very much for watching please subscribe like the video and I'll see you next time here's a little look of the whole inside track mounted on the LVL that's also mounted on to the garage header and yeah, it turned out really nice. I'm looking forward to building the garage doors. There'll be a different video. Here's a little look at um, the garage doors, the, the hardware, which is 2x4 aluminum. And these are 12x12. 12 12. Anyway, thanks for watching.